Anyways, we got a few new games there, so if anyone's interested in any of those, feel free to throw some votes on there. Uh, but the pre-roll is up. I think it's about time to start the game, shall we? Let's go ahead and, uh, first off, let's hit that record button, get that up and going, and transition. There we go, dude. Let's freaking go. I'm excited to get back into Metal Gear Solid 2 here, man. Switch the game that we're playing. Excellent, excellent. All right. Without further ado, man, as soon as I grab my controller. Oh, there we go. Uh, I should probably also move my spreadsheet here so I can actually see the game. Excellent. All right. Uh, so at the end of the last game, we loaded in. We were being called Snake, but we were actually playing as, what, what's his name? Was it Raiden? Raiden? something like that like a robotic looking dude so i'm a little confused about what's going on there i'm not gonna lie but i'm sure the game will explain it to us as soon as i get the screen centered up just a little bit better there i know it's a black bar on one side there we go that should be good enough load into our game and circle it's fucking circle every time dude <laughs> every time i load up a metal gear solid game i press the wrong damn button to actually do anything Checking memory card PS2. Normal, we... I mean, it says we only played 2 hours, 38 minutes. I'm pretty sure we played more than that, but we also died a small handful of times. So, I guess it wasn't a handful of times. A couple. A couple of times. And I don't know if this game counts, like, cutscenes or not as part of playtime. Scientists had to make thousands of calculations to create the atomic bomb and determine its effects. Computers and atomic bombs, both products of World War II, grew up together. Uh, true, I guess. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Should of we watch course. the cutscene again? Sure, let's get Terrorists a little bit of a refresher. Why not? Oil tanker full of crude, barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. demands 30 billion dollars 30 billion dollars what makes them think they can get that much there was a government sponsored tour going on at the big shell that day no biggie hostages huh a vip from one of the major conservation groups and one from our own government the most important person in a sense the most important person james johnson the president unless the demands are met the terrorists intend to blow the big shell out of the water and the crude will ignite turning the manhattan harbor into an inferno that's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base ecosystem will be wiped out and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. 
Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. That is an order. You hear me? This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. Raiden. All That's right, how you pronounce Raiden. it. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Ow. Okay, we'll skip Smacked that myself. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Elevator. Use that. Check. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. Why is that? <laughs> the hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. What Locate does the hatch skull first. suit got to do with? Copy that. What? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure there's something obvious that I'm missing there, but I don't know what the hell it is. I'm still confused on why they're calling Raiden Snake. I'm. I'm sure there's some kind of reason for it. Um, like maybe he's some kind of clone of Snake or something. I have no idea, but I don't quite get it. Okay, we have nothing, but we do have a scope and. An AP sensor. I'm assuming that's more for use when we don't have our radar, which we should have access to. We, uh, for the stream, I put it on normal difficulty, but I turned it on so that the, whatchamacallits would always be active, the, the radar, or, or at least more often than, than it normally would be on, on normal mode. I can crawl under here, right? Yeah. Can't get in the vent though? No. Isn't there also some sort of way to take off our mask maybe or no? Maybe not. That's too bad. Okay, there's a vent right there we can crawl through though. How do we get in there? That looks like some rations or something. I want that. It's been a week, so I have to reintroduce myself without to play the fucking game. Okay, it's triangle to open stuff. Nothing of use? Hey, a single ration. Okay, we'll take it, man. Anything we can get, we'll gladly accept. Oh, there's more hidden crap over there. This fanciful flips. How do we uh, go first person view? R1? R1. Okay, I thought maybe we could go behind that but no it doesn't look like it 
There's got to be some way in that room. Maybe once we go through this vent here, maybe there's some way to, like, knock out the other vent to get into that little side area there to collect all that crap. Uh, I don't know which way we're supposed to be going, but uh, this way seems to have all the goodies. So if we go to it and, like, press triangle, no, nothing. Oh, God, I might sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Sorry. Sorry. Ugh. That looks like another ration right in front of us. I guess we'll go ahead and grab that. Oh, that's the one over there. Okay. Now, can we, like, go around and get whatever that was in there? It's probably something stupidly simple, like open the damn door or something, but <laughs> I missed it. I don't know. I'm not even 100% positive what the hell it was over there. Also, where's the... It's right there. Crawl in the vent, you... Hey, bro, please. Please. <laughs> what is going on? I just want to get in the damn vent, my guy. There we go. Can we stand up right here? Doesn't it look like we should... Oh, okay, there's a great... I just saw the, like, that it went up a little bit higher. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Always be the number one supporter. There is a door here. Can we just open it? No. I'm, I'm pressing triangle. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. We can knock on it a bunch. <laughs> but for some reason, I don't think that's going to help us out too much. Okay. Back in the vents. Let's go the other way then. If we're done doing our cool flip tricks. Raiden's got to be extra, my guy. I'm still confused what's up with all the damn bugs all over the place. Wait. That just brought us out over here. How's that helpful? <laughs> Can we, can we, like, climb up anywhere different here in the water? Push select for a call. Okay. What do you got, got your for feet me? Wet. These are the basic controls for swimming. When you're on the surface, you can swim in corresponding directions using the up, down, left, and right movement of the left analog stick. Push the punch button to dive down from the surface. Punch is dive, move is move. Is that a hint that we that we should be dive? Okay. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left analog stick. Up will take you up. Down takes you lower. Left and right to face those directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge got it, while got you're it. underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. Run out of oxygen, we die. Cool, cool, cool. So can we just like rapid fire to move quickly or do we need to like actually time it? It seems like we can just press it as much as we want. Um, invisible wall though, stopping us from going down too far here. So I'm guessing there's nothing actually here in the water for us. I can't, like, climb out or anything, right? Yeah, no. Uh, did we just go to the door then? <laughs> I guess. Like, I don't know what else to do. I know we're supposed to be getting to an elevator. I got that much. Oh. We started to get a call, but I missed it. Raiden, that door is watertight. Yeah, I know how to open it. We covered it in VR training. True. Proceed with caution. Wait, are you telling me that I might get fucking flooded or something whenever I open this damn thing? Ah, oh, no. We Gucci. Uh, Hi.
I'm not the one moving the camera around and shit. The game's doing all that itself, man. Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment is Russian-made. Must be a Grelukovich man. Grelukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They've become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. And another call, okay. <laughs> you should be used to the controls by now. Yes, I'm used Proceed to the controls for the most part. The clock is ticking. Get on the elevator on the far side of this area and get to the upper section of the big shell. Elevator, upper section, big shell. Gotcha, boss. Still bugged by the fact that I don't seem to be able to get over to where I want to go. There's got to be, like, some way to get over there, right? Like, climbing over some shit or something. Or maybe it's just something that happens later. And we... Oh, wait. Right here. Oh, wait. No, we've, we've been over there already. Son of a bitch. I thought we had found it. I don't think there's any, like, hole in this fence anywhere. First time? First time. Well, it's the second time that I've played the game, but first time trying to finish the game. There's this little area over here that I can see stuff in, but I can't figure out how to get into. But I think I'm just gonna skip it for now, because... We've wasted enough time trying to get over there. That. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, well. All right, there was that dude over here, so he may... Uh, well, let's hope not. <laughs> I was going to say, he might still be over here. We should probably take a little peek around the corner first or something. But nah, where's the, where's the fun in that? We'll just snap off the wall and go charging head first into it, man. One of your favorites? I really liked the first one and the NES game, as far as NES games go, at least. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2 seems to just be better than 1, so... Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be up there for me as well, to be honest. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man... We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. <laughs> node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high. Should be colored blue. Three feet Each blue. Each area has at least one. Oh, we have to unlock maps How as we I go. That's neat. Just push the action button in front of the node. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Makes sense. Okay. So, find nodes. Hit the button. Get maps. Are there anyone around here? Like, do we need to be super stealthy in this area? Or are we in the clear? I think... I think in this area we're in the... Clear. I imagine that won't last forever, though. Can I? No, okay, there's nothing up there. I mean, these guys are already knocked out. Do they stay knocked out? Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? Oh. 
You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner what? enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration Since when? or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay. Item box okay. is good. I know those. Everything else trash. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. I mean, I imagine we can still pick up like, uh, yeah, I was going to say rations and, and ammo and whatnot from the enemy soldiers, even if their weapons don't work. Come on, drop something for me. You found it? Oh, you lost a pillowcase and then you found it? Well, I'm glad you found it, love. <laughs> How'd you lose a pillowcase? In the uh, in the stack of clothes and towels and stuff, I'm assuming? Oh. <laughs> you okay there, Raiden? Holy shit, dude. What was that all about? <laughs> oh, we actually get our name ourselves. Um, and our birthday, our blood type. I actually don't know my blood type. I guess. Oh, shit. Uh, we'll just put in stream. Do, are there lowercase letters? No, okay. T R. I know how to spell stream. I wish games would just give you a keyboard. I imagine that's a lot harder to set up than this, so I get it, but would be nice though. Uh, okay. Mail. Uh, my birthday. What year are we in right now? Can you, can I have like my actual birthday? Will the game freak out if you put something ridiculous in there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I wonder, is it year? Okay, it's year month day. Okay. What, what was the point of all this? Turn blood display? On. Item window, quick charge, unequip, quick change, I mean. Okay. <laughs> All good? I think we're good. Good work, Raiden. Thanks, the man. should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, it's weird that it's giving us all this tutorial stuff after we did the first mission of the game. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The big shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything Thanks, all right? Thanks, man. What are you doing here? Jack, Jack? can you hear me? Rose, Wait, is that my real name? You're supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. 
Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside oh, of my damn. immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. Hopefully saves that for us, cause... <laughs> what? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. I'm honestly kind of surprised they didn't use, like, the uh, real-time clock on the PlayStation to figure out what tomorrow was. <laughs> and go from there. Oh god, they're getting up. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Is it going to... I'm under enemy oh fire. god. Secure the perimeter. We're so screwed right here, man. This is not a good place to hide. Oh god. <laughs> like I said. Okay. Well. Are they both knocked out? Okay. Uh place to hide, place to hide, place to hide, because they're not gonna stay down forever. Um Brushy just said Jack, is she for real? <laughs> that didn't last long, did it? Can I go underneath these pallets? No, that looks way too small. Uh, the elevator's here, actually. Let's just let's just peace out, man. <laughs> let's just get the hell out of there. <laughs> oh god, that went well. <laughs> you would think, with her being so concerned about uh, his safety, she would be more willing to use the code liberty. names and shit instead of giving away his identity. But the name of their leader is Solid Snake. Oh. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right. But he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Wait, so we're hunting down Solid Snake now? Solid Colonel, went bad? That don't sound the right. There's there a twist no here somewhere. But it would only take one to spot yes, me I'm on PS2. Light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. Uh, a, First, one, okay. get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. 
Get my shit shocked. Again, I'm assuming. <laughs> Raiden doesn't seem to do too well with electronics. Um, okay, I'm also assuming there's probably going to be some people around here somewhere. I see some birds that probably give away our position if we scare them. I don't see any people around here, though. That's good. So we're probably safe for now. But where the hell are we going exactly? There's no door here. Okay, there's ammo for the M9, so I have to assume there's an M9 around here somewhere. Hopefully I didn't already miss it. Can I not open the door? No, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bird shit is slippery. Good to know, man. Okay, is there something I can crawl through then that I'm missing? Maybe I can climb over, actually. Uh, no, that looks a bit too high to climb. Maybe this door back here. Excuse me, game. Well, I'm lost already. We just came up the elevator, so we're not going to go back down that. I would have thought the door, honestly. Can I climb up this? No. The action button's not doing anything. Can we jump? No, we can just jump down, not jump over. Okay, and we don't have any equipment, right? We have rations? Why do those rations look like bugs? What is <laughs> what is going on with that? Don't want to backseat, but give you hints? Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with hints as long as it's not like a straight-up story spoiler or something like that. I don't mind hints at all. Especially whenever I'm just straight up lost, like, probably being blind. Like something left-hand side, okay. I see that door, but as far as I can tell, we can't open... We climb up the pipes. No, okay. Oh, well, I think the game's about to throw us a bone. Or not. It rang. I must have missed it. We can call him, though. Raiden, the sea lice are getting fat on your rations. Shake oh. the equipment window to get rid of the bugs. That's what that is. Shake the equipment window? <laughs> Bro, that is <laughs> that is weird. Okay. Um punching the door does nothing. We can't open it. Okay, so that door's useless to us. I don't see a vent anywhere. We don't seem to be able to climb the fence. Got to get an M9 to do anything with that. You've never seen that before, really? This door doesn't open either. I don't see a control panel for it. If you want to be more specific with your hint, by all means, man. Throw it at me. When I saw that pipe over here, I thought maybe we could climb the pipe, but... You're making rice now? You're playing with the cat? That's fine, love. No rush. I am pretty hungry, though, I will admit, but... Top left under. Top left. 
under. Ah, I can't turn. I <laughs> wanted to get a uh, closer look at it here. I definitely can't crawl through that. Left under. I'm an idiot. Obviously. Don't have any equipment, right? Yeah, nothing. Under... Close? Oh shit, that is that is blending right the hell in, man. <laughs> God, I'm blind. <laughs> I told you it's probably something stupid like right, that. Look at that wire fence. Yep. <laughs> the game took pity on me, man. <laughs> Just <laughs> What do you got now, Colonel? Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <sighs> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Thanks, Colonel. That really makes me feel better. All right, so can we just go through the door now? We can, thank God. <laughs> we made it out. Finally. <laughs> oh, man. That was ridiculous. Uh, we don't have a map yet, so we still need to be careful. Oh, good, okay. It's showing me there's problems here. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. They're not coming this way, surprisingly. I thought one of them would come over here. I wanted to check those lockers. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Knock, knock. Got it. Okay, before we do that, though, I do want to check these lockers over here just to make sure there's nothing in them. Okay, we need a weapon first. Nothing in there. Okay, so he seemingly doesn't come out of here. Um... Now, if I... Did he hear that? Hmm? I think we're good. It's weird that the options pop up every time we go there. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> that actually jump scared me. <laughs> fuck. Okay, knock him the hell out. Okay, he's not knocked out. We're in evasion mode. <laughs> will, will that be good enough? I don't know. Are we still going to be in evasion? Nope. That reset us. Dope. <laughs> we good. The surveillance drone? What do you got, Force Colonel? Watch your back. That's a cipher. A type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. 
So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy Alpha Zero. Uh, <laughs> I don't think things are going so well for them. Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy. Is that Alpha Zero? Respond. I think Alpha Zero is out. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. All right, find some chaff. Do we got chaff hiding around here anywhere? Maybe. It doesn't look like it, sadly. Um. Where is that UAV? Is it gone? Oh no, it's right there. Is it coming this way? It sounds like it's coming this way. Yes, it is. Okay. We stay here. I think we'll be out of its cone of vision. Oh, it doesn't even come this far. Never mind. We're good. Now, do you... Do you... Oh, God. No, don't do your fancy flips, dude. Just get down. <laughs> All right. We're good. Is that a chaff grenade? What is that? Hey, chaff. Awesome. Okay. So we can knock it out if we need to, but honestly, it looks like this one we can probably just evade. That wasn't too bad. Strut F Warehouse Basement 1. What do you got for us? Okay, well, chaff ain't going to do shit for the enemy soldiers. So you just go around in a circle? How does that work? Not having the uh, radar makes this a hell of a lot harder, man. What is that up there? Next question, how the hell do we get up there? I wish we could look around a little bit easier. Where is he? Okay, there's a guy up there. I have no idea where the guy that was down here is, though. Did he leave? That's ammo for something that we can't use, presumably. Yeah, okay, it looks like the guy that was down here left. Stun grenades, that might come in handy. We don't have a key card to get into level two. Oh God. No, nope, there's not anyone here. Nobody here, my guy. <laughs> this is fun to watch, well thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I'm scared. <laughs> Can I, like, look to the side? I can. Is he coming? Is he hiding? Or not hiding, but... Is he, like, staying up top? What's he... Uh, we can, like, peek around the corner, right? Well, there's no one there now. Uh, you know what we should probably do? Mm, maybe not equip that, but we should at least equip our rations. Oh god, don't run out there, Raiden. Oh shit. <laughs> that was pretty sick. I'm surprised that worked, man. <laughs> All right, dude. I guess that's how uh, speedrunners <laughs> do this shit. Just that was pretty sick. I don't think I've ever done something like that in Metal Gear before. Just trolled the AI so hard, man. 
Nothing here, nothing here. I want to... I want to get whatever that magazine is down there. Can I Can I not hop nothing up on this? Here. Really? This looks like we should be... Don't knock on it, you dumbass. This looks like something we should be able to cr crawl onto. I thought maybe we could like crawl onto that. And then hop down to get the magazine, but I guess not. Ration. And then this side was what? Just a level three door, so definitely can't get in there. So this appears to be the only place we can go. There's no lasers or anything we have to worry about, right? Hey, an actual weapon? I will take it. Even if it is just a trank. And that looks like, yeah, a hole in the wall. Let's go ahead and go in there real quick. Where does this take us? There's somebody there. No, nobody here, my guy. <laughs> He's not going to, like, look in here, is he? No, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> so we definitely need to figure out a way to collect more stuff. Because right now, we can't really do anything. Is he going to come back around here, or... Where'd he go? Did he go back down? Good, he's down there. Okay. I can maybe... Come on. Get somewhere where I can shoot you. Need to take him the hell out, dude. So I can explore proper. There's no other staircase up, right? He has to go... Here. He has to go this way. Hoping he like stops somewhere convenient. That's not somewhere convenient. There we go. Oh god, how did you not hear that, my guy? Uh. Okay, we know he like comes around this way. Waiting with bated breath. Come on. Is he coming? Okay, there he is. Stop for a moment. Oh, son of a bitch. Is he out? <laughs> oh, God. Thank God. Oh, okay. He's out. So we shouldn't have to worry about him anymore. What mode are we on? Uh, just normal mode. Nothing nothing crazy. I didn't want to, like, get stuck for super long periods of time, seeing as I'm, I'm streaming it and it's my first time playing it. So just normal. I did contemplate easy, though. I'm not going to lie. But, I, no, I decided to go with normal. All right. Um, so there's like this hook here. Can we can we do something with it? No. And the game doesn't let me climb this box for some reason. Can I? Oh God. I didn't expect that. Uh, how do we get down? Oh god. That's an explosive, isn't it? Is it an explosive? What is this? That looks like an explosive. Unable to find the A World Soldier. Nothing else to report. Okay, so there's probably another soldier here now. Oh, you know what we could probably do? We could probably, like, jump the fence and then, like, shimmy our way over to, to drop down on that box that we wanted to drop down on. Okay, so they all left. 
Is the AWOL soldier back? Or since they couldn't find him, is he just gone now? I don't know if they installed someone else in his place or if we're just good. Okay, do that. Shimmy over to here. There we go, dude. Now, this looks like a magazine. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna... It's a book. Is that gonna help us in any way? I don't know. Probably not. Uh... Okay, yeah, definitely not. It didn't do anything for us. What else is there that we can... 200 IQ, big brain. Something like that, at least, huh? So that's just ammo. That's just ammo. Can't go in either of these doors. More chaff grenades. I mean, that's all fine and dandy. Maybe we just can't do anything else in this area right now. Maybe we need to go back up top and go through that door that's what i'm thinking maybe we're just not meant to really be here yet can't go there nothing there just sleeping dude over here nothing oh oh there's a door Wait a second. This is going to be the top side of the... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so these connect together. So there's definitely something in this room that we can do. Is that sleeping guy? He's still asleep. Okay. More bullets are always nice. I thought this guy would, like, drop a uh, key card or something. But no luck. Did we go down this way? Yeah, this is just the connecting hallway, huh? Can't use that door either. What the hell am I missing, man? Do we need to, like, blow that up? Oh, God. Uh, I need to hide. I need to hide. I, well, they definitely don't check. Oh, wait, they already got the all clear? Oh, shit. Hi, that guy's awake. Uh, get down. Boy, okay. <laughs> I know. Ooh. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. But I still don't know what the hell we're doing. The only other thing I can think of is maybe we need to... That one bomb-looking thing. Could we, like, blow it up? Problem is, I don't know where sleeping guy went. You wish they had this game on new consoles? I'm surprised they haven't done, like, remasters or anything, but I guess, you know, Konami's gonna Konami. Of course, they are, uh... Today, I believe, supposed to have a Silent Hill stream. Like, announcement or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I'm just hoping the Silent Hill game that they're announcing isn't going to end up being, like, a mobile game or some sort of ridiculous BS. Because I could see that being a thing, and that's not helpful for anyone. <laughs> like... I mean, look, obviously mobile games do well, or every company in the world wouldn't make them. But I'm just, I've never been a huge fan of uh, mobile games personally, though.
I'm completely lost, man. So the only thing... I mean, I could get down on this one, but... I don't think that would help me at all, right? Uh... That's definitely explosive, right? So shooting that would be bad. <laughs> I'm tempted to shoot it though, just because I don't know what the hell else to do, man. Unable to find the A World Social. Nothing else to report. Oh wait, here's the book. I didn't see it a moment ago. Publication with adult-oriented material, full of girly photos and interesting columns. Unable to locate the A World Social. Nothing else to report. Wait, what? <laughs> so we just sat it on the ground? Can I pick it back up? No? I thought maybe there would be like a key card hidden in there or something. Just ask if you get stuck. Oh, I'm definitely stuck, my guy. <laughs> I am 100% stuck. This is the only thing that I've noticed that I could maybe interact with? I mean, then we had the book, which hopefully wasn't important because can't do shit with it now. I mean, we could throw, like, a grenade down in here and then GTFO. But I don't know if either of these would even set off explosives. We could try shooting it from the top, maybe, so it doesn't, like, kill us. That guy is still asleep, right? Yeah, I can hear him snoring. I'm finished with this room for now? Okay. So I do need to go somewhere else. I'm still curious, though. Can I... Oh! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Jack, what's going on? Okay. Answer so, <laughs> me! Jack! So I Jack. was right about it being a bomb. What I didn't realize is that it was going to blow up the whole damn room, though. Well. <laughs> uh, did it save the stuff I collected? Okay, yeah. So it saved all the stuff I collected, at least. Um... I gotta, I really gotta take a pee. So we're gonna go ahead and take like a three to five minute break, guys. I'm gonna run an ad there as well, just so that uh, we disable the pre-roll ads and don't have any ads running in the middle of the gameplay. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in like three to five minutes trying to figure out what the hell we were doing. BRB, guys. PP. You know, it's not the biggest PP available, but it's not the smallest PP out there either. So like... Okay, it's kind of weird racing a hybrid. It just feels weird for some reason, but like, so that's what you want? You want us to go with that, Nate? You chose it. Yes, until you can get a Civic. I, I, well, I mean, you only paid once, so. <laughs> I wonder if a Civic is uh, available at all. Nate and his Civics, yeah, right? Got the Honda Integra. We can't afford it, but is there any other, doesn't look like the car lot has any other uh, hondas available at the moment ah uh, dude we can do wish lists aspiration <laughs> naturally aspirated what what does that mean i'm not that big of a car person uh front front road card hybrid car whatever fuck it purchase let's go boys this is our car you actually kind of want to fit what's its a uh, gas mileage do you know just like IRL, just out of cur curiosity, like that's how it gets its air. I guess that kind of makes sense. When you buy a car, you gain collector points in accordance with its price or value. The more collector points you have, the higher your collector level will be. This collector level reflects your rank as a car collector. So buy lots of cars and raise your collector level. Picked out our first car. Congrats. Stream, this will be your first car. Once you leave here, I recommend going to your garage and checking out your car. Q, 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 Q. We can do that. So basically, it has no EC. Now, I think he, I think uh, Nate means like how it gets its air for uh, like cooling the engine and whatnot. 
go to the garage. We can do that. It's the garage place. Your car stores your car collection. This is your home base when you, where you can switch cars, change settings, or just take time to admire your collection. You can also turn in tickets. You want to race this year and receive bonus items as well. Once you've checked everything out, let's head to the cafe next. What kind of gifts do I got? Oh, there, there's my million credits. Dope. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so there we go. Receive this gift. Yes. So there we go. We got a million bucks to buy whatever the fuck we want now, basically. <laughs> and this game here, if I remember correctly, starts with... Okay, there it is. 424, it says up in the corner. Um, so there's 424 right now, but there may be more in the future. Uh, some Gran Turismo games, if I remember correctly, have had like a thousand or something close to that. So I don't know if there's going to end up being that many in this one or not, but yeah. It's kind of insane, man. Uh, yep, so we can change all the settings in our car. You can save them under different sheets, so you can change, like, per race or whatever. Uh, you can also do Beyond the Apex to get more, like, information about it, so that's kind of cool. Oh, we can change our type of tires. Looks like we only have the one kind right now, though. What is ECU? Oh, okay, okay. That's like the computer or whatever for it. Turbochargers. So, I mean, we don't have any of this stuff right now to install. But, like, yeah, you can see it goes hard. <laughs> like, there's so much, so much stuff, man. Um, I don't really like how you go through the menu. I guess you just got to kind of, like, on this side, it's not so bad. Can I? Okay, yeah, no, I can go all the way over there to, to do it, too. Good gods. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, here's our parts. Welcome to tuning parts. Special parts you received as gifts are kept here, organized separately for each car. That's cool. But we don't have any, so it doesn't doesn't matter. Nice classy music. I mean, most uh, classic music is... Uh, oh, all right, everyone. We're back. Uh, all good. Just got out of work. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, you haven't missed much except for me being lost. So, <laughs> Okay, so we did presumably everything in this area. So let's go ahead and go back to the bridge. Um, definitely don't want to shoot that bomb again. <laughs> that did not go well for us. Where? Okay, it's over there. Assuming that it works like on this side like it does on the other side, we should be good to hang out here for a minute. I don't think there's anything back down in the bottom for us to do because it was just a simple connecting bridge. But maybe now that we have a gun, we'll be able to do... Oh, that room. Right, right, right. Okay. I remember now. Whenever we were in this room here, there was probably more places we could go. We just didn't check it out because we had gotten kind of uh, spooked by by that bro right there. But there is this whole other area over here still. Okay, we can't go there, but we can go. We can go up. Bullets. Oh, okay, that's a whole other area. <laughs> so I was looking for that guy that said he was going to check out the roof. I was a little worried that he was going to be out here somewhere, but... Oh, he opened up a bunch of the doors. Okay, is he up here, though? He is. I can see him on the minimap. I'm just a little bit blind, but we're okay. Okay. Uh, Can I... Take him out real quick. Hey, do you want to, like, stop there at the corner? Yes, you do. Thank you. Okay, so he's out for a moment. Uh, assuming that it works like the other guys, he's probably going to get... Son of a bitch. <laughs> he's probably going to get back up very soon. Uh... Odd. Oh, I didn't mean to fire. There doesn't seem to be anything else to do up here, though. Unless I missed something 
in this little connecting area, but no, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Let's just make a circle then. Go back down to the pump room. Keep exploring it. There's nothing over here, right? Yeah, no, nothing over here. Good, good. Head on down. There's apparently a camera on the other side of this wall. What difficulty? Just normal. It's my first time playing it, so nothing crazy. You're going that way first. Hey, okay, another door. One of these doors has to have something useful in it. <laughs> Orange man is bad NPC. Well, welcome. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a username, man. But welcome to the chat, bro. Okay, two guys. Ride and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver. Yeah, we don't want to fall out, from here. You will fall. Okay, so wait for them to turn around. Presumably, they're going to be doing that soon, if not already. Can I just, like, take them out? No? What's the other one doing? Okay, the other one's actually moving around. So I guess that's probably the side that we want to go down. Wait for him to turn around, walk away, jump over the railing, hope we don't fall to our death. You can just shoot him and get around that way. This guy doesn't look like he's moving now. Okay, there he goes. Okay. Rip level one. I'm assuming that's something that we can upgrade later then. Hey, guy, do you want to maybe, like, do your thing, turn around? <laughs> How long does he stay there again? You can do pull-ups to level your grip? What? <laughs> that is sick, dude. I love it. Do you have to go to, like, a certain area to do it? Or do you just keep gripping something and pulling yourself up and, like, repeating over and over again? to uh to do a a, a pull up. Oh. This is <laughs> This is a good looking room, man. This is where we want to be at right now. I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen here. Nothing bad at all. I think it's R1 and L1 like while you're hanging somewhere where we're not going to die. Uh if we fall, we're going to have to try that. <laughs> Totally non-anime, yeah. Not even a little bit. Speaking of, I started watching Neon Genesis Evangelion, man. I'm uh, on episode like 13 or 14, something like that. My plan is is to have it finished by Saturday. At least with the, the series, not the movies just yet. Oh. Okay. What is... That's some ninja assassin bullshit right there, dude. What the hell just happened? My vote is we stay out of that room, man. There's a tone shift after episode 16 if you think it's slow. Honestly, I haven't felt it was that slow. Like, there are definitely some episodes that are a little bit slow, but it hasn't been that bad. I've been enjoying it so far. 
excuse me. Spinning in place does not <laughs> save you from bullets, my guy. Crank that soldier boy. <laughs> uh. Uh, he's done. <laughs> he's out of here. <laughs> totally not an anime, man. <laughs> this game's not anime in the least bit. So who the hell is that? Don't go in there. Stay out of the room with the crazy murder ninja dude. Especially when all we have is a tranquilizer uh, dart, like... <gasps> oh. Wait a second. Is he a fucking vampire? <laughs> what? Excuse me. Uh, game, what is going on? <laughs> Suddenly we're playing Castlevania? I don't... What are you? Today. Oh, that's normal. Yep. Six. Vamp. Yep. Okay. <laughs> sure. Why not, man? Phil Lamar, you say? Nice knowing you, riding. Get down. That snake? Like proper snake? Kind of sounded like his uh, voice actor. Maybe, maybe not. Where is he? He's Romanian, a wizard with knives. Wait, are just all Romanians wizards with knives? I... <laughs> Gotta admit, I've never met a Romanian person before. Take the shot. Why are you just chilling, dude? <laughs> Fucking shoot. Mm, strange smell. He's a genome soldier. That's definitely Snake, dude. Vamp. Yeah, Queen? Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Is he a genome soldier or just straight up a fucking wizard, man? <laughs> like, uh, this dude seems supernatural in nature. How are you just disappearing and flying around like that, man? It's Hold not on. normal. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is. My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Uh huh. Sure, it is. <laughs> Iroquois Pliskin. Are David Hader. Hmm. <laughs> How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Hey, thanks so much for the follow, man. How do you pronounce your name, by Have the way? I is it Mateo? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? 
Where were you before Foxhound, Delta Force? I know an awful lot for a uh, Navy SEAL, man. Force 21. That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Yes, okay. Awesome, awesome. Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? Kind of got a point, dude. So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. Oops. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Go. Uh. No. <laughs> Lose a little too you much blood right? there, Snake. Give me a few minutes. Uh, tonight. Must have lost a few more pints roughly two thought. hours. What was that man just now? That blood sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you oh, saw. Hey. The way he moved didn't seem <laughs> human. Romanian wizard, you say. see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became hey, take your more, time, more man. extreme. No problem. Began Thanks for being here while you can. Allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. Is he now? What about I don't... <laughs> the other soldiers? I Real convincing coming from you. Too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? That's what are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. 
keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this too. Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? connecting bridge we need to get there can you handle it I need a few more minutes remember my frequency it's 141.80 141.80 got it I've been briefed on this plant's layout if you need information on the place or about dead cell contact me you're using nano communication right yeah but I can patch into your frequency Ha <laughs> like so can you just give us maps to this hey, entire place? Name? That would be probably the most helpful Ryden. thing you could do there, not snake. Ryden. Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Like, I realize the game's probably going to tell us more about what the hell is going on <laughs> eventually. But, like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. So, Snake's not dead. Which, I mean, I figured as much with that. But, he's here with us. But our intelligence and Foxhound is saying that he's the bad guy. But he's helping us out. I'm... Just so fucking lost right now. <laughs> I have no idea what is going on, man. Um, oh god, no. Um, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Snake can just take a little nap. That's fine, right? God damn it. I, th <laughs> I thought I had unequipped the weapon. I didn't realize I was still holding the gun. So we kind of tranquilized uh, Not Snake. I'm sure that's fine. Oh, god damn it. Okay, which way are we actually meant to be going right now? Jack, it's me. Everything okay, Rose? Don't you need to save the mission data? Oh, yeah. Thanks for the reminder. Sure. Let's go ahead and save, man. Because if we come across uh, Vamp, we might be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's probably a good idea to throw one down before that happens. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. Just make I'd up some bullshit. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover oh. incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary cool. mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. Yeah. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. What was that, like, little glitch in the voice clip there? That was weird. So I've completely forgotten where we're supposed to be going, I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay. There's nothing in there. Nothing in there. This is the room we just came out of. This is the way we came in. So, this other side of the hallway, I think. 
It's probably the best bet. It sounds like people are fighting over here, so that's a good call. <laughs> Usually in these games, going towards the sound of gunfire is uh, a good bet. Press a shoulder button during a call gives you an internal voice line. Maybe that's what happened because I was hitting other buttons. I was staying away from the face buttons, but I was hitting other buttons whenever I got that weird clip. R1 positive, R2 negative. Very cool. Then now one L2 for the other side, I'm assuming. Wait, are the what bullets the just flying that? around her? <laughs> what? Come, put me out of my misery. <laughs> this is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they this call is, this fortune? This is perfectly no uh, normal, man. She got the superpower of luck. He's wearing a U.S. Navy outfit, isn't she? Didn't her caller say U.S. Navy? I mean, I understand they went dark or whatever, but like... Ready grenades. Surprised they're still wearing Navy gear, if that's the case. It's just not going to blow up. A dud. How much you want to bet they're all duds? Or will it blow up as soon as she walks away? Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Oh, well. <laughs> Fuck those guys, I guess. I mean, you might live. <laughs> maybe. If you're lucky, maybe that piece of uh, the, the bridge there will break the water so sorry, for you beauties I'll see you again someday she talking to the birds wait why are all the birds just dropping dead what <laughs> does she steal her Power Colonel, from small Steel creatures? Team I don't. Bravo team was wiped out. I I'm see. confused as shit. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a harrier too. A harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the seals drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? I don't understand There's anything, no man. for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. That's right. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. Well, the but we need to are. consider the possibility that they'll <laughs> blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden. We've had to adjust What's the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. Okay, the we know where one of those wait, are. But this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. All the Bravo right. team brought an explosives pro in with them. 
He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Think you are? Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be is just Is this a all dream. just a fucking dream? Are you two <laughs> what done? is going on? Right. You're needed on Strut C. <laughs> okay. Um. So that's Strut C, just straight across. So I, I, I guess we just go over here. I'm so lost, dude. What the hell is this game? Alrighty then. Strutzy Dining Hall. What do you got for us? I don't see any people. That's good. If we call Snake, will he give us like a map of the area? Oh, god damn it. What was Snake's number? <laughs> Does anyone remember? Google. Uh... Metal Gear Solid 2 Snake Codec Frequency Um Sons of Liberty Tanker Chapter Plant Chapter We're at the plant, right? I think we're at the plant yeah, I know how to, I, I know the map thing, but I was curious what Snake would have to say. And since he had information about the place, it would have been, damn it, I didn't mean to click that. It would have been cool Jack? if he did give us like more information Hang in there. about the area, like a map or whatever. Uh, X to go back. So what's his number though? 141.80. I'm just curious what he has to say. He's asleep? <laughs> no. Is he asleep just like, is that normal? Or is he asleep because we accidentally put a trank in him though? Wait, are we in the bathrooms? We are in the bathrooms. Oh, of course. We got got the pictures, man. <laughs> got to get all the pictures. Wouldn't be a, a Kojima game without some naughty pictures. Don't forget the the naughty book we got too. Oh, can we actually use the hair dryer? That's cool. Okay, so is the other side also a restroom then? Yeah, women's restroom. Can we like climb up there? No. I'm assuming it's gonna be empty as well, right? I was half expecting there'd just be someone in here just to screw with us. No, like, half-naked dudes? Huh, surprisingly, no. Pentazemin? Is that, like, Lorazepam in the last game? Or no, that's a... Yeah. Yeah, okay. So they just changed the name. Instead of using Lorazepam, they're using that one, which I've never actually heard of. Whereas Lorazepam, I know, is a real uh, anti-anxiety medication that can help with, like, trembling, anxiety, all that BS. Seizures. You Freeze. look Don't awfully shoot. civilian compared to the other people around here. 
You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Oh, hi, Snake. <laughs> Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. You picked a convenient What's time to wake up, I guess. My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The emperor of explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Any other the Raiden or Raiden? There was also they keep changing. Or no. No, they always Imagine say Raiden. Yeah. It looks like Raiden to me, though. A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yep, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 Glad from the structure. You are. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all Probably, right. Yeah. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. You are now, Jack, guy. it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. Mm -hmm. It's a big old bomb. That's this what it is. This is a C4 bomb. <laughs> yep. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this <laughs> on the sucker and there we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? 
There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. Hey. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized wanna, gas. You want to say that again? C4s. Ion the what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out analyzer? C4 scent. That's right. I've established a link up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. Sensor. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Bro, Fat stop Man worrying well. so much. Just do it. <laughs> I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No. It was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And you could have taught him not to, to be like a murderous asshole. Destroy us all. <laughs> that would have been a good thing to teach him. Just throwing that idea out there, my guy. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating him. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the right. radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I mean, I know yeah. the structure of this facility. <laughs> Why would he, he just completely plan, ignore one of the areas? Target? You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two, a total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Wait, that one that we already take found, this. was it on this side or the other side? Shell 1. Or, no. We're on Shell... Yeah, What's we're this? Are we on Security Shell 1? I don't fucking know, I'm so personnel. lost. The Big Shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Wrighton, your card key can open doors for security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You needed to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. You were supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. Oh, fuck, I'm hot. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. 
You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Thank you for the food, love. It's delicious. Even if it did burn half my mouth off. <laughs> over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. 14025. I'll probably forget that. That man's If no the game seal. doesn't save it for us. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semper Fi. Marine Corps talk. What? Oh, I said thank you for the food, love. Even if it did Normally burn half my mouth off, it's really good. Stay and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he I can one of tell. The terrorists, then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Hope they Plenty don't get hungry. Too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by Kodak from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Pretty sure they ripped that line straight out of an anime, dude. Okay, so we haven't unlocked the radar for this area yet, so... Don't give in to the fear. <laughs> Hides in pantry. I mean... <laughs> the man's missing a leg. I say we give him a break. Okay. It's still weird that it brings up the option menu every time we unlock a new map. I guess it's so we can, like, turn the radar on and off as we see fit or something? I don't know. So just by having the sensor pulled out, it's being used right now, right? Like, I don't have to hit a special button for it or anything. On mobility spectrometer explosive detector activates when equipped. Yeah, okay. Imagine that vamp cutscene without the blood. Wait, is there, like, a terrible censored version of this somewhere? Can I climb up on here or something? No. Oh, you can turn off blood at the nodes. Yeah, I didn't even... I wasn't paying attention to that. You're right. That's terrible. <laughs> Now, he did say it could be used from, like, several yards away, so. Hey, okay, so there's one down. Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations, too. And none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? 
He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Maybe his goal is to kill, not to demolish? But I mean, destroying the whole place would probably be a pretty effective way to, uh, to kill as many people as possible too, so I don't know. Okay, this is, this is the room we just came from, okay. When it cut off the view like that, I thought maybe we were missing something over here, but no. That's just the other half of that room. Good, good. Next door. Next area, actually. Connecting bridge. Any UAVs to worry about? Uh, there's a person, it looks like. Oh, good, trap doors. Wait. I was gonna say, how is that trap door effective? But then I realized it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> hmm. Camera. If I stick to the wall, I think I'm fine. We Gucci. Okay, there's definitely one in here, but there's also a lot of people. Now, are any of the people gonna come over here? Nothing here. Wait a second, we don't have proper radar coverage here. Why is it showing us that? That there's one here, that's weird. With everything it's set up to this point, I would have thought it wouldn't have showed us anything. Okay, looks like the node points at the bottom there. Oh god, there's more people. I thought maybe it was just those two. Do you stop at any point, or do you just run around forever? No. Yep, nothing here. <laughs> Good time to take a nap, though, right, my guy? Oh, God damn it! already? Can I open these? No. Did I... Ryden, okay, there it at goes. your feet, there's a hatch for pipe or gauge maintenance. Face the hatch and push the action button to open it. There may be something you can use, so check the inside thoroughly. I guess being on top of it doesn't count as being facing it. Maybe wait for them to finish comps. Yeah, I didn't realize they were going to do the calm thing. I mean, it makes sense. Now that I know, but... Oh god, don't like jump down or anything. Okay. How do we get down? Yeah. Gotta be stairs around here somewhere, right? Oh, right there. Okay, where's that guy? Okay, he's radioing in, I think. Okay, good. He's not radioing in this time. <laughs> I think we're okay. We have time. Now, eventually, though, I do think they will call... Like, like, their boss will call them, asking them if everything's okay. So we still can't just, like, take forever, but...
Wait. Didn't it... Wasn't there the stink of a bomb here somewhere? Or was it not showing pro... Oh, no. Okay, I see it now. I thought maybe because we didn't have... Yep, see, there it is. What's going on? Respond. Now, the real question is... Which area are they going to check first? gonna have to go up man it was nothing all clear nothing was wrong you good i think we're okay did they find the guy that was sleeping down here they did we should be okay though because they're they have like no range on their site <laughs> thankfully Okay, another one out. And... I'll probably take you out real quick. And get through that door before anyone is the wiser. You would think whenever they find, like, the same guy sleeping two or three times down here, though, they would start to get suspicious about it, but... Nah, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Like, there's being tired and falling asleep on the job, and then there's just negligence, my guy. Or, I guess, you know, an enemy shooting your guy with a tranquilizer gun. That's always a possibility, too, I suppose. I wonder... No one can see you, right? Best part is you can see the darts. <laughs> I didn't think about that yet. They're sticking out of his fucking head. And they're just ignoring it. Like, ah, it's fine. Whatever, man. Oh, shit. Uh, hi. God damn it. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Uh, shoot him? Oh, God. Okay. At least get the fucking rations equipped. And then... My God. Why are you everyone a fucking ninja? Okay. Load next area? I think since we're invasion, we're in evasion, and we loaded in the next area, it might clear it for us? No. No, it did not. Okay. That must have been because we also loaded a cutscene last time we had that happen. So we need to quickly find somewhere to fucking hide. Like maybe right here. This seems like a pretty decent place. We're just going to sit here for a minute. I'm going to take a couple bites of my fried rice, courtesy of Mr. Noodle. No one here. Nothing to see. All the carrots are gone? That sucks. If we want to go grocery shopping after we get wings tomorrow, you can look and see what all we need. Um, yeah, we can probably pick up a couple of things. I don't know if we'll be able to do like a full grocery trip tomorrow, but we should be able to pick up at least like some basics, like carrots and things. Oh, God damn it. 
I oh son of a bitch. Fuck. <laughs> I thought we were okay. I didn't realize there was a dick out there. Oh my god, there's so many people in here too. I didn't even see like their feet, man. Raiden, go get down. Stop fucking somersaulting and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to just fucking like get under the shelf and Raiden just wants to somersault his fucking ass off like um I'm sure nobody will come here looking for us right there's no way this works hiding right here I mean there's no way now. What? Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> How is this a safe zone? I'm just gonna wait for the radar to go back to normal before we go back in that room. Oh shit, is someone coming out? Or is that above? That might be above us. I think that might be someone on the, like, uh, layer above us. I think we're okay. Come on, radar. Take another bite while I'm waiting for it. Okay, fingers crossed. As soon as we go in this room, we're not just instantly spotted. All I want to do is get that node, take a break so I can actually eat my food real quick. We can just crawl under this. I presume that guy can't see us over here. There's no one ahead of us. Nobody over here this time. Get the fucking thing. Let's go. Exit. And then fucking stop somersaulting. <laughs> fucking hide, my guy. Okay. Okay. So we actually, yeah, we should be fine to get up over here. This guy's not looking this way. Oh, shit. God damn it, son of a bastard. Oh my god, how did I shoot on both sides of his face? Oh, I hit him. I just didn't hit him in the head. Oh, fuck. They're here. <laughs> this room is going exceptionally well for us, man. I don't even know where the fucking bomb is yet. Uh, actually, you know what? A stun grenade might be good. Because if I stun them, I could probably hide from them a little bit more effectively. There we go. All right. Well, while we wait for this fucking timer to count down again, I'm going to go ahead and take our break so I can finish eating my uh, my supper here. And we'll be back in like three to five minutes, guys. Holy shit. Uh, what's it called? It's got a... There's a word for it. Public domain. There you go. Cafe for car enthusiasts. People are waiting to meet you. Hi. People waiting to meet me in the cafe. Computer for tuning, there's a joke about it. If you see a Civic with a laptop, you already lost the race. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> Special place where people who love cars, including car designers, come to visit. I think this is where the photo mode is, too. Maybe. 
Gran Turismo for a long time has had a really cool photo mode. And now that like ray tracing is a thing and whatnot, they incorporate all that to get like super nice pictures of the cars for, you know, for people that want to do that. Fancy coffee shop, it is. Not only serve food and drinks here, but also provide special menu books, quote unquote, for exploring the world. The menu book contains hints and objectives for enjoying car collecting and racing. Once you complete one menu book, I'll have another ready for you. Start by choosing your first menu book. Well, there's only one option, so I guess that's the one. <laughs> Japanese compact cars. So that's our first uh, collection objective if we want oh okay so it's just those three cars the aqua s11 and the demio xd a touring 15 so a toyota and a mazda what are the what are the hints oh okay so like it just hints on how to get the card cool i like it i like it first menu i prepared for you is all about collecting japanese compact cars each goal is simply to acquire the three cars listed on the menu you might have one or two of them already but your work's not done until you've collected all three you can receive the cards as reward for your performance in certain world circuit races an orange compass icon will guide you to races where the cars you require can be won be sure to come back to the cafe once you've collected all three cars good luck thanks man i appreciate the good vibes and stuff honda civic for next car if it's there all right once we're ready to upgrade. It's going to mess with our collecting. World circuits are now open. Let's go. Showcase it now. See, I was, I've was i been wanting this game since it was announced. But I'm not going to lie. I was a little iffy about getting it. Because I read a bunch of stuff about it being like grindy as fuck. Basically. Like, uh, they just... Like... The, the amount of credits you got per race, like how long the races took and whatnot, just made no sense, right? It was just kind of ridiculous, and it made the grind game super grindy. And if you didn't want to put in, like, hours upon hours upon hours, it just wasn't fun unless you were willing to pay for credits, like real-world money for credits. Um, but they got a lot of backlash for it, and so they actually just put a patch out on, like, April 7th or something like that, not too long ago, that apparently has made it much better now. So fingers crossed that won't be much of an issue um okay so this one it's pointing us here because we might be able to unlock one of those cars as a reward for doing that one and it also seems like it will only let us do that race right now so <laughs> gift car third place or higher okay um oh before i go into there i should just make sure by the way go to options i should have everything set so, like, all the assists and things are off. Vibration function? Uh, yes, please. Strong, 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 strong. Okay, everything's, like, on. That's for the other stuff. Profile? Nickname? Reading? Social links? Huh, maybe that's only... Newsfeed? Milestones? I can't see what that says behind the... Jack, do you need to save? Jack, it must be so nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that was a stupid thing to say. Sorry. That's all right. It's just that I've never been trained in this stuff. You okay? Are you feeling well? I almost threw up a few times. Oh, Jack. But I'm okay. It's not like I'm in this alone. Oh, yeah, that's true. What do you think about when you're diffusing those things? I don't think so much as remember. And I know that I need to resist that and keep my mind blank. I can't let myself be overwhelmed by the fear. So... Am I a part of what you try not to remember? <laughs> I was just kidding. But I guess this isn't a good time for that. No, it is. And I do think about you. I'm trying to remember what's so special about April 30th. Any success? No, not yet. You need to stay alive so you can. Okay. That's a deal.
Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate the call out there. Um, as I was saying, well, first off, I said welcome back. Dinner was really good. Thank you, Noodle. Uh, anything else important? Not really. I was going to say, she keeps bringing up April 30th, though. So I can't help but wonder, like, what would happen if we changed our clock to April 30th? That and the bomb defusal guy brought up that the uh, spray is good for 24 hours. So I also can't help but wonder what would happen if we waited more than 24 hours. Like if we... Who's there? Oh God. Oh God. They can see. Oh God. I'm hanging out. Son of a bitch. I hate this fucking area. Okay, uh, stun grenade again. Before we fucking die, can you throw the stun grenade, snake? Alright, just fucking run. Let's get somewhere different to hide this time. Did I throw the grenade? I don't actually know if I did or not. Uh, let's hope they don't come in here. Can I just leave the area? There, uh, maybe. Will that fix it? Not entirely, but... I mean, it's better than it was. I'm assuming, though, I don't actually know, but I'm assuming there's a bomb in there. So we... Oh, shit, don't run out there, dude. So we gotta go back into that area still. We haven't blown or, or not blown one up, but uh, frozen one over here yet, right? Not that I remember. If we go to the map. Maybe we have? No, we've only done like two. Yeah, so each one of the bees must be one that we still need to do. Which would mean this is one of them. Presumably in this room. Can we do like squats? that raise our stats we just sit here and, and squat over and over again teabag nothing just faster and faster um i'm hoping whenever radar goes back to normal people don't come out this door i don't think they will Parcel room, first floor. Get down. Fucking crawl, dude. Oh shit, we don't have the scent thing equipped. We wouldn't even know if we were near one. Ooh, there's some stairs though. Okay, maybe downstairs. And it gets us out of this cursed room. <laughs> the room I definitely should not be in. I suppose you got like some rations around here, do you? Mine detector? Uh, I'm a little scared now. Do we need the mine detector out? Oh, we don't have clearance to get in there. What about this door? No, that's level five. Son of a bitch. Well, so much for that, Hope. Okay, we might be able to take out a couple of the guys with our Trank Gun. Just don't miss the fucking shots this time. Damn it, boxes. Okay, he's down. Where's the other one at? I can't see him on the map. What was that? There he is. Okay, is that all there is? A stretch? You got it, dude. Let's fucking stretch. <laughs> or is that what the guy was doing? I think that might have been what the guy was doing. But everyone should stand up and stretch real quick.
break your toe sitting back down that fucking hurt <laughs> oh shit oh uh, i sit uh cross-legged in my chair a lot and uh <laughs> so like i kicked the the side of the chair putting my leg up in it with my with my big toe it kind of hurts i'm not gonna lie oh fuck me dude oh well the stretch was good nice uh nice little back crack in there meh says mr noodle no meh stretch it out dude Oh, there's another set of stairs. Okay. So maybe it'll be up here then? Let's get out of here. <laughs> they notice people early with their status report. That's when I just GTFO, dude. All right, the heliport. Heliport sounds like a good idea to have some explosives. Or a boss fight. I'm honestly surprised we haven't had a boss fight yet with uh, Raiden. Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Uh. Are you hiding something yes, what? from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? <laughs> On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! Don't say freeze. Just fucking you shoot her, dude. You must dead cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. There's a box in this strut, first floor. I have to try and go back for it. After I clear this, uh, this floor here. Raiden, why are you so dumb, dude? Should've just fucking tranked her. I saw a female soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Is that the one that we faced off in the opening chapter for this game? So if we would have killed her there or no we couldn't because we didn't have a real gun yet huh we had to uh we had to non-lethal her i guess you could not yeah okay took me a second but i remembered Can we open this hatch? No. Seems like a good place for a uh, to hide a bomb there. I don't know. Did we get him? Okay. The dot wasn't like popping up all that great, but we got it. Uh, okay, so it's not hidden there. I don't hear beeping. Must be under it, maybe? Definitely around here somewhere, man. <laughs> this place is lit up like a freaking torch. Oh, I hear the beeping now. There it is. And she's gone. Right in here. The C4 reported on the roof of Strut E has been taken care of. Explosives were planted on the Harrier 2 stationed on the roof. This is all wrong. This is something only an Alitum would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No. There's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, right? 
I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. Wait a second, I just realized we told Snake about meeting Olga. Am I am I just missing it or did we not warn him that she's planning on setting a trap for him? <laughs> Seems like something that would have been nice to let him know, dude. I don't <laughs> Come on, dude. I know you can't drop your weapons, but you could drop some rations or something. No? Okay. Well. Uh, what are you? Stun grenades? We'll take it. How about you? Throw them off the edge? Can you do that? Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna fall off the edge though. Oh shit! Right. Fuck! Are you all right? <laughs> Fucking thought I was trying to turn. God damn it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Hey, he dropped a ration though. <laughs> oh. Do we still need to get the bomb from this area? I'm assuming yes. I don't know. The checkpoints are weird sometimes in this game though. We might not need to actually get the bomb here still. Oh no, we do. Okay. I see it lit up. Do you want to go somewhere I can hit you? Maybe? Aw, oh, damn it. Wait, where'd he go? There he is. He out? He's out. Yeah, see, you can't, like, push him. You can only drag him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> he's, he's gone. <laughs> so it does work. There's just a pretty good chance that you'll uh, get yourself killed in the, in the process. That's all. What is this stuff actually anyways? Is it like liquid nitrogen in a bottle or something that we're spraying out on these things? How are we freezing them for 24 hours? All right, other guy. Where did we knock you out this time? There you are. I don't suppose you happen to have a ration again, do you? No, no luck. You don't wanna. You don't wanna help me out. Hey, there we go. Thank you, thank you. And something else too. Box three. I see you're at bombs. Yes, yes, I am. Now box. Okay, cardboard box to transport daily supplies. Equipped to wear. So wait, is there another one on this level then, Chocobo, or is that the one you were thinking about? Also, welcome back, Mateo. Okay, so on to the next part then. That means we probably have to go through that fucking room again though, huh? Or can we... Is it possible to just sneak around and, and skip it? You think there's one on the first floor too? There's a guy... But it doesn't look like he has anything that we need, like any reason to go over there. Second floor, okay. Um. Oh wait, I can't, uh... I can't get down to the first floor yet. That door's still locked. These guys still asleep? I think they are. Oh shit. Well, there's box five. 
There's just boxes all over the damn place here. I think they really didn't want you to mix, miss the cardboard boxes. We should probably just get out of here before we fucking die. Honestly. We got two boxes. That's enough, right? <laughs> It doesn't seem like one of them's the the wet box versus whatever. Carver box to transport game software. The design is eye catching. Equipped to wear. Wouldn't that be a bad thing? Like, you don't want people to look at you when you're hiding in a cardboard box. I would I would assume. You know what? We picked up that mind detector. Yes, there are mines here. Okay. How many bombs have Be I defused? I think that was the third. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Choose the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. What? <laughs> Colonel, <laughs> this game's confusing the Mr. shit out X of me, dude. Contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. Okay. Can we still... I wasn't thinking about the dude up top there. Um... we safe here? We might be safe here. Maybe. Is it gonna fucking go down at all? Yes. Okay. Ooh! We're alright. So I probably need to take that guy out that's up on the bridge there. Yeah, I think I think it was three. Pretty sure we've done three so far. Son of a bitch, he fucking saw me again. I was trying to shoot him, but I didn't have the gun pulled out like a dumbass. Come on, game. Get us out of evasion mode. It sounds like those UVAs or whatever the hell they're called may have come over here whenever I uh, get spotted. Yeah, plus you can like you can see them kind of flying away over there on the map. Can I see your head? Hopefully that was the only one. They don't have like two of them. All right, and now back to my question. Is it like Metal Gear Solid 1 where if we're crawling, we can pick up the mines or no? Yes, that was a little nerve wracking, but we're good. Oh God. Oh, thank God crouching is safe. I was not trying to <laughs> I was not trying to go into crouch there. I was trying to just back up to pick it up a little bit. That was scary as shit, dude. I thought we were dead. Alright, we'll just pick them all up so we know we're safe and to get them in our inventory, I suppose. Hmm. 
And we're still going around the perimeter right now, right? If we check the map. Yeah. So we probably don't need to go over here. We may not even be able to go over here right now. Although it kind of looks like we can, doesn't it? Oh, fuck me, dude. Of course there would be a no, trap there. This isn't happening. Jack, Why wouldn't there be a trap me. there? I'm Jack! <laughs> Jack! Oh, man. Why did I stop running? I was weary about running too f or uh, going all the way over there. I thought... <laughs> Son of a bitch, dude. All right. Uh, equip the fucking gun. He can't see us here. Wait for him to turn. Actually, can we see him from here? No. Okay, he's out. Equip the mine detector to make sure that we actually pick them all up. And crawl. I... I almost hit X to, like, instinctively crawl faster or something. Just to try to speed things up. But thankfully, the smart part of my brain piped in, or chimed in, and was like, uh, if you do that, you're dead, dumbass. Because as soon as you stand up, all these claymores are going to blow up in your face, and you're gone. <laughs> like, maybe don't do that. Hey, Nate, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, my guy. All right, one more. One fucking more. Let's go. Now, is there any point in going over there? There could be bird shit on there. For all I know, there's bird shit. So if we run over there, we might fall and then fall to our death. But the completionist part of me is like, dude, you can't just pass it up. You have to go check and see if there's actually anything over there. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Those are reset at some point, right? <laughs> Follow map. Uh, yeah. I probably should have. They don't reset, do they? No, they fall. Um... When the area reloads. <laughs> well, you see about that. I doubt it. But what happens if we don't reset? Okay. Is there some other way out of this situation? Or should we just, you know, off ourselves? Cartwheel van hang. Okay. 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 Oh. Talk about fucking scary, my guys. <laughs> That's genius, though, dude. That was... That's really smart. Okay. We can make it. You know what? Just because I'm not positive we can make it. Let's pull ourselves up here. Reset it. Good to know they didn't put a soft lock in the game. Well, I guess it's not really a soft lock because you do always have the option of offing yourself too. <laughs> like, that is something you can do. Oh boy. Okay. Um. There was a part of me that was expecting more claymores over here now. Well, as soon as we go through this door. It's probably going to be a new map that we don't have yet, huh? Yeah. So no point in equipping the thing yet. Looks clear. What about the other side? Nothing here. Looks clear. It's 
go let's go downstairs first maybe oh that's this room yeah 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 okay 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 I didn't realize what room we were in you're right I do know the spot oh shit there's more people here now uh before they before they catch on I'm just gonna reload the fucking area Now, can I freeze it, even though I don't have the visualization of it? Will it still let me do that? <laughs> Looks like it. Put on sensor A. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I, I found this one earlier. So I just happened to know where this one was. Oh, god damn it. Okay, let's just hide here for a minute because they're going to send people in to check the place out. Is there any other stuff I can collect here now that I have keycard one? I don't remember if, uh, what, what level all of the doors were. I know there's multiple doors in the area, but. Probably. Yeah, you're right. Yes, there definitely is. Oh, like this node thing here. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, we don't necessarily need the map now, but it's nice to have nonetheless. We're sniping stuff. Hey, another cardboard box. He shot bomb. I did shoot the bomb. I backed up from it. Because I, I realized that it seemed like a bomb, but I was also kind of stuck at the time. So I was like, there's got to be something I can do here. So I was like, well, if I shoot it when I'm right up against it, it's obviously going to kill me. So I backed up to the other side of the room. I was like, okay, I should be far enough away now. If I shoot it, I won't die. And then the whole fucking thing blew up, man. Like, it was ridiculous. Observe the map. Yeah, it looks like... Uh it looks like there's a connecting room to get over to this side. From here. Aha, yep. I see the grate. I don't know if I actually need any of the stuff on the other side of this room, but more stuff, more better, right? SCM suppressor? SOCOM suppressor. How do you attach a suppressor? Once I, I see the SOCOM. Circle X. Ah, here we go. Nice. So now we can actually start using the SOCOM. <clears throat> I'm not necessarily trying to go for a no-kill run because I don't care about my rank my first time playing the game. So just straight up getting rid of some of these people would actually be handy. Hard to do without a suppressor though, because <laughs> yeah, everyone's going to fucking notice you instantly. Okay, now what about the next floor? If you spam R2 while crawling, you go faster? No shit. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's a glitch. <laughs> that's definitely a glitch. I love it. Uh, what level was this door? That's level two. Level two. I remember there being a couple doors up here. That one, of course, but we came in through that one. Level three. Two. Three. That's to the bridge. I do need to go that way. Um, we already know about this one, and then one more door. Level three. Okay. There's nothing else to do in here, as far as I can tell. To the bridge we go. Turns out, being in an area that you've been before helps out a lot, man. <laughs> Just knowing what the hell you're doing, or where you're going. Jack. Do you remember the day we met? No, I'm kind of I don't. Busy right now, Rose. <laughs> You're right. Just tell Sorry. me already, dude. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. Oh, there were all these tourists around you in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler Building, and then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, <laughs> and we ended up going kind to the busy saving the world Museum here, to see who yeah. had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we... Went our separate ways. Isn't riding right though? Isn't it the Chrysler building? And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. Or the An Empire State Building, I mean. Coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler Building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. <laughs> Just, hey, peace, bro. <laughs> okay. Weird. Uh, let's go ahead and eat one ration. And I don't think we need it, but since we're just running around, go ahead and re-equip the mine detector. Now, this is the one with the, yeah, the flying thing. Now, we've never actually gone across the top here. No, we have. We have. So, we should be good to just... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's, there's new people here. That's fine. <laughs> as far as I know, we don't need to go down to the bottom, so we should be good. Back to the pump room, eh? Are there new people here, too, though, I wonder? Is your pattern the same, at least? Why is my controller vibrating? Oh, detecting life forms. I was on the wrong one. Does he turn around? No, he just walks away. bro uh get your body a little out of the way here although the blood stain i imagine will be kind of hard to miss over here this is the way out yeah it's not where we want to go yet so there's got to be there's got to be a uh, bomb in this area somewhere that we haven't found yet. 
right? Yeah. Looks like maybe on the other side of this wall here somewhere. Other than the camera, is there nothing else in here for us to watch out for? Can I shoot out the camera? Does that work? I guess it depends if it has shielding or not. Oh, hi there. There is a person here. I was worried that camera was going to see the dead body, and I imagine that would not be a good time. Was it just the one dude? This is going too smoothly, man. Something's got to go wrong here. Okay, I think we're alright. Um... Bit of a maze now, huh? Can we just jump over the pipes, maybe? No. Well... <laughs> Wait, what? Okay... Huh? How does... How the hell does this area work? I can't crawl over the stuff. Well, there's the bomb. We know where that's at now. Is some of the stuff in here just meant as like a decoy or something? Because I can't climb over anything. Can't go under that one. Or there. I can go under this one, it looks like. Can't go under this one, too? Well, that's a, that's a ration. I guess that's nice. What do you got for me? No one's going to leave a bomb in a place that easy to reach. It would be more worthwhile to search convoluted areas that can't be reached simply by walking. Um, I'm in an area that can't simply be reached by walking. Thank you very much. You kind of got to get on the ground and crawl to get here, my guy. Can't crawl under any of that stuff. Can I turn these things? No. Can't go under that one. Maybe I'm just blind. Maybe you can't... Oh, right here. Hey, sneaky, sneaky, dude. Okay, and then I can jump over this one. There we go. Oh, well, that gets us the box. That doesn't actually get us any closer to the bomb, though. Maybe I missed something in this other cubby hole right here. Can I go under this one? No. Do we just have to, like, shoot the freezing stuff at it over over something it's like it's right there i know where it's at if only i could like go over this one can't go over that one though Is there one un over here I can crawl under that I missed, maybe? Is 
Does it just like work if I just start spraying the coolant? <laughs> Feel free to yell at me, man. I, <laughs> I see the emoji. <laughs> I, I'm probably missing something super obvious here. Go under this one. Go under this one. You got it? Wait, what? Now I'm more confused, man. What do you mean I got it? <laughs> I can just like... Oh, you got this. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I can't fit through there, can I? Is that wide enough for me to crawl under? It is. Okay. Son of a bitch, stand up, dude. Oh, thank fuck. This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, yeah. what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat, all right. Whatever. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found exactly. would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news, either. These are sensor-proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent He's on vapor to your leak, game, Pete. and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I'll go see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back yep. and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. Kind of dark? past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. Uh, I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well, I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield, and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine, one of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. He's gonna I die, Annie. Pete. I feel like he's that gonna one's die. All yours. You got it, Raiden. I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell Two. 
I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg, Peter. <laughs> He's gone for good. It's gonna be a very touching moment, I'm sure. <laughs> Whenever he fucking bites the dust, dude. God damn it, <laughs> Raiden. Get in, get in the hole, my guy. There we go. Sometimes the crawling directions are like inverted, dude. It confuses the shit out of me. One left to go. Have we... I'm trying to think if we've been in the last one that we're going to or not. I feel like probably yes. But Lord knows I've been wrong before. Do we need to go up for anything? No. I don't think so. We checked these lockers before, right? No. No, we didn't. Konami eyes? What is that about? I mean, it's clearly an Easter egg of some sort, but wait, what's that down there? Hold on. I'm fucking blind. It's so dark. Is that a picture of the bridge? Maybe the bridge from the beginning of this game? I'm assuming that's a Konami employee? I don't know, I'm fucking lost. I'm bullets full. Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. On to the next one. Oh, wait. How do we actually get to the next one? I just realized this roof ain't gonna do shit for us. Unless that back half is open now. Uh, not the coolant. The coolant's kind of useless in this situation. Hmm? Oh, God. Somebody there. Nobody's here. Oh, son of a bitch, get up, snake. Oh, son of a bitch. How did that first shot miss him? I could have swore it was right on his fucking head, dude. Okay, back down we go. Maybe we need to, like, uh, go down a level or something to get to the next one. I don't, I don't remember. I'm not sure if we've ever been in the next one, actually. Yeah, okay. It looks like we can see it on the map. It's this one right back here. There we go. A, B, connecting bridge. That's where we want to be. Oh, this is the one where the, the dudes are walking back and forth. Well, before there was only one dude, but walking back and forth. The other one was just chilling, not doing a damn thing. Kind of surprised none of those platforms dropped out from under us, or didn't just get blown up with some fucking claymores. We got the sensor equipped. That's good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this room where we met fucking Vamp for the first time. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I opened those earlier and I didn't uh, I didn't notice those for some reason that that picture there. What is that? Statue of Liberty, that same thing. 
Konami eyes again, and then... Is that a moth and a couple of fucking... Robots or something? Oh, rations, thank you. Unlocked. Okay, I think whenever he comes over here, that door's gonna open, so we should probably stay away from the door. Weird, I can hear the bomb ticking already. Don't run that way, snake. Hmm. It's not out here, right? Yeah, no, okay. I think the, the detection's just a little messed up. It's going off before we even get in the, the room there. Where's he at? It's come from down there. Let him pass us. Oh, wait. He doesn't look this way. Oh, shit. We could have got him right there. Oh, my God. Come on. There we go. Oh, shit. He's not dead? Oh, okay. We're good. This one is going to be fun. What is it? Like, really well hidden or something? Got it. <laughs> cool it. And it's gone. I have the last C4 frozen. There's nothing showing. Well, I knew it had to be like right now. there somewhere Good because work, it was right. going off when you we were on the other side me, of the wall. Kid. I still have one to go. How's your bomb, Peter? It's a bomb, all right. Sealed C4 and in huge quantities. You think there's another one in shell one? For sure. Somewhere at the bottom of strut A. Why are you so certain? If this bottom section of the strut is demolished, Shell 2 will be well on its way to destruction. You mean that Shell 2 will actually sink? Not immediately. There'll still be five struts left. But if Shell 1 loses a strut at the same time, it'll be a very different story. The big shell's structural integrity depends on a very exact balance. If both shells lose a strut each, the whole structure will tear itself apart under its own weight. What do we do? I have a sensor that can locate even those scentless C4s. It makes combined use of a neutron scintillator and a hydrogen bomb detector. You brought that stuff with you? Of course. I don't... I made would the C4 set off a hydrogen hydrogen. bomb detector? Does it work? I just tested it. I don't, I don't think it works that way, man. Responds. But the best I can do is a sound beacon, not the radar. Sound? The shorter the interval between beacons, the closer the target. I get you. There's another one in that pantry I was in. You can go back and get it. It's all yours, Ryden. I'm going to study it some more and see if the freezing process will work. Don't touch the other one until I say so. Okay. I'll stand by until you radio in. Okay, so he was in the next one over, right? So we need to keep going around in circles. But, hey, thank you so much for five more bits, Mr. Noodle. I do appreciate you, love. I don't think there was anything else here in this little area. Uh, but we probably want to go this way to get to the next zone. So pantry he was in, and then he said strut A, so that's the big thing in the middle then, right? We just outrun it. Oh, cool, we can. Doesn't seem super secure. Why would they even have it dip down? What's the point of that? Just makes it, like, perfect for someone to run away from. Anything change in the bathrooms? I'm assuming not, but, you know, curiosity and all that. Plus, you never know with a Kojima game, man. Uh, not here, this room.
Peter, I have sensor B. Good. Head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live, which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Oh! Pliskin. Freezing it activates the fucking thing, doesn't it? Whenever Damn, all of them go out. That was it! What's yep. going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right, the one in shell one should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Oh, fuck me, dude. Right, move! <laughs> Get to the bottom of strut A now! How? Where? <laughs> we get a fucking, like, a help of any kind? Uh... Where's the way down? I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> the bottom of strut A. Hold on. Okay, it's over there. So back the other direction. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's not the center post. It's the side post. Okay, so back this way. Run over here. And then the bottom of strut A. So does that mean that we need to get on the elevator? in the roof to get to the bottom like where we where we came up from uh do you mind like do you have guns equipped on you by any chance I don't have time go away strut B transformer room Oh god, not having a map is making this a hell of a lot harder. Where's the fucking door? There it is. Oh god damn it. Just run. Just run. No, don't. <laughs> Get up, Raiden. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Just go. I should probably equip the fucking... <laughs> the thing. The, the, the rations. Should maybe take a ration too, actually. Yeah, I'll just I'll just take it and then equip sensor B. GG. Don't mind me. You know see me. Damn it. Keep get up riding. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking die. We're gonna die. I don't have time Sensor B. to wait for the stupid alert thing to count down. Okay, so in the bottom. Oh, God damn it. I should have known when I seen their flashlights over there. So if it's in the bottom, so the only thing I can think of is taking the elevator from the roof down. Is the elevator back? It is back. Let's go. How do I activate it? Okay. <laughs> right. We got this. Listen. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there. There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Stop talking and start to disarm him, man. <laughs> as fast as you can. Pete! Right. Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Go. 
Well, shit. Goodbye. Called it. <laughs> I knew that dude was done for, dude. There was no way. There was no way. Can you pause during cutscenes in this game, or does that skip the cutscene? Uh, okay, sensor B hasn't started to go off yet. So presumably we're fine. Still hasn't started to go off yet. Okay, it started to go off. What does it look like? It's getting faster. As far as possible. Oh my god, dude. Where is this thing? I'm like scared to move. Okay, it's getting slower over here. Wait a second. Is it in that room, the one that I can't get in? Not here. Not over here. I was thinking maybe we could shoot it through like the grate there or something. God, three minutes left. Where is it? It's getting slower again. There it is. I don't think I can shoot it from over here though, right? Can I shoot it from here? Maybe. Does it work through the fence? I don't know if it'll fucking work through the fence, man. Uh, coolant. No, no, it won't. Okay, we gotta we gotta go back through. We know where it's at now. We got it. Just don't get too fucking close. <laughs> Yeah, I'm worried the uh, the cutscene that takes place after this is going to be too long and the ad manager is going to force an ad to run and I don't want an ad to run in the middle of the cutscene. That's why I was wondering if you can uh, pause in the middle of cutscenes in this game or not. Does this count as close enough? This has got to be close enough, right? Is it turning yellow? I don't think it's turning yellow. Son of a bitch, dude. Come on. This has got to be close enough, my guy. Map? Minimap. Minimap. That's... I'm missing something on the minimap, aren't I? Did I, like... God, I don't know what I'm missing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm missing. <laughs> mini map, mini map, mini map. I 
I'm gonna fucking die. It's gonna be, it's gonna be bad. Damn it, don't go in the fucking water, you piece of shit. This is it. This is G fucking G. <laughs> this looks like it would be close enough, but it's not fucking working. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Jesus Christ. How is that not close enough, dude? Oh my god. I wonder when the uh when the checkpoint is. What's wrong? Raiden. Raiden. Yeah, 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 shut up. Raiden's dead. <laughs> Where the hell do we go, man? From the pantry. Okay, that's that's not that bad, honestly. Wait, is it giving us, like, easy mode now? There's no one here. Oh, I was right in the last second. Son of a bitch. Oh, some Get up, riding. I guess this would probably be a good use for, like, uh, stun grenades and shit while we're running around here. Yeah, see, I was worried about running around over to there because, uh, the proximity thing. I thought we were going to set it off if we did that. But now I guess it was fine going around it, but in between the gap. Okay. Get up. Did I not throw the grenade? There it goes. That was a dumb grenade. Also, uh, I'm like bleeding. Wrong way, wrong fucking way. Pump room. Okay, just run straight up. There's no one here. Well, we know the general area now, and we have plenty of time to get it done. So, <laughs> over 300 seconds. So, if we don't get it this time, then Lord help me. Sorry if I get a lot of Amazon notifications. What, were you adding shit to the Amazon list? Right. Listen. Listen carefully. Okay, well, start doesn't skip that cutscene at least. So hopefully, if we get plopped in like a cutscene, we should be uh should be okay to pause. Fingers crossed. Just a couple, a lot. <laughs> it can't be both, love. Is it a couple things or a lot of things? I mean, that's fine, though. You can add as much stuff as you want to the Amazon list. Okay, uh, coolant. Okay, get closer, maybe? Yes! There we go. There we fucking go, dude. Let's go. With 57 seconds Colonel, to spare. I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick I wish on I the could surface. pause this. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate Got 30 danger. seconds. The big Hurry up. Stable? <laughs> say what you shell need to say. Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. 
What's the next objective? Rescue the it. president. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Oh, wait, is it actually over? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> We're going to pause it there. Uh, normally, this is where I'd be ending it for the night, but I want to try and... I, I don't know. Is it over? Let me know in chat if it's if it's like if the section's done. And we have to take a break because the ad manager's running. So, <laughs> but for those of you that can still hear me, Chocobo or uh, Mateo, if you run a, a ad blocker or whatever, um, can can like how much more is left in this section? Should we just call it here or should we go up to the top? Because normally this would be it for the night. Like this is normally where I wind things down, but. If there's only like, you know, 10 minutes left in the section or whatever, then I would like to just finish it off. Decisions, decisions. I have no idea. One of the problems with playing a game for the first time on stream. <laughs> but anyway, since we are in the middle of the break, I am going to go ahead and stand up and uh, stretch a little bit and whatnot. And then uh, and then we'll we'll do whatever we decide to do. Dot, 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 dot does not help me. There's a boss. Okay. So probably best to just call it here then for the night. Yeah. All right. Got it. I'll, uh, I'll wait for the... For the ad to finish running i was out of snoozes i used up all my snoozes trying to get here um so i'll wait for that to finish up say good night to everyone then and then and then we'll, we'll get out of here so for those of you that can still hear though thank you for coming out and uh yeah have a good night guys i'll be back tomorrow with either another community day sort of thing or the podcast i haven't actually talked to jonathan yet so i don't know for sure what we're doing tomorrow night but we'll be doing something and then, of course, next Wednesday, we'll be playing some more of this here, man. Metal Gear Solid 2. It should be fun. But I'm like I said, I'm going to stand up and stretch. My legs hurt. The chat for myself or something. Hold on. Uh, sure, game view. Very quick. Close. Then.